This is the brand new GNAT Gion 4. It is the only 4K HDR camera that I was able to get my hands on. So let's take a look what's in the box. Kind of looks like I'm opening like a Samsung phone case. So as you can see, as you open it up there, you have the rear camera and the front camera. So you pull the front camera out. You can see 4K HDR Sony Starvis front camera. On the back side of it, you have the manual recording button and the Wi-Fi connection button. Wi-Fi dongle right here. And then you have rear camera and the power plug. And the power plug is the same as Thinkware, iRoad, and obviously GNET. They all use the same power cable connection. On the side here is an SD card slot and it will support up to a 512 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, there is an SD card in the box. I believe this one comes with a 64 gig. And we have the rear camera. This is a 1080p rear camera. It is not a Sony Starvis, but it is a Sony Exmor, from my understanding. Whoa. And you can see it's very small in comparison to the other camera. Take a look at the back side of the box. It's got lots of QR codes and everything that you can actually scan if you're looking for like manuals or if you're looking for, um, you know, uh, looking for the cloud user guide, you want to go right directly to the website. So let's see what else is in here. So they also have the power cable and extra sticky tapes just in case you ever have to replace your your windshield or anything like that it does happen cable that goes from the front to the rear just a micro usb cable just so you know you can't use just any micro usb cable there are different pin settings but i will tell you this i wrote and gnet both use the exact same cabling as far as i've done for all my tests um and then you have the user guide. 